All right, guys, uh, let us consider another question on our differential equations. We have got our June 2015 question paper on question number 11. So there we are given the rate of increase of mass, which is m kg of a particular plant is inversely proportional. Take note, that's a proportional that we are given. It is inversely proportional to t plus 3 where t is the time in years, the time to be taken in years. So there are two things to consider. Remember, as I said before, there's the rate of change, the proportionality part. Whenever I talk about the rate of change, we are relating one variable related with respect to time. There is a proportion. We have to consider what proportion that we're given there. So what is it that we consider? The rate of, inc there is an increase. So if the rate is an increase, that is going to be a plus. If they say the rate of a decrease, there's, there's a decrease. Or maybe there's a decay, or it's an increase in population, a decay, you use a negative. So it increase, it's a positive. So it's of mass with respect to what? Rate, always rate of. It must be with respect to with respect to time. So whenever you're working with the rate, it must be with respect to time. So the question was, write a differential equation to represent this information. So in this case, we can note that uh, the rate, which is dm, because this is of mass. So that is dm with respect to time, with respect to time of a particular plant is inversely proportional. So you have the proportion. So it's, it is inversely, that is one over, one over T plus three. Inversely, that is one of just is that, that is your inverse variation, guys, from your all level mathematics. We talked of variation, revise those things. Direct variation, inverse variation. How do you present under direct? How do you present under inverse variation? It's not a crime to open those uh, books for all level in, in A level. No, it's not. So the question was to write a differential equation. This is not an equation. This is a presentation between these two from our proportions. So we're going to introduce the constant as usual. So by introducing the constant, we are removing the variation side. So that is K over T plus three. So that is what we are given. So the question was just to form. So we're going to leave this in terms of K. Uh, then on another part, it was to solve the differential equation given that T is equal to zero and M is equal to the lean of nine when this, so we're given, like we do not have M in this case, and we do not, guys, we do not have T. This is DM DT. So when you say this information cannot be used, like the previous case that we had where we calculated the constant was the derivative of y with respect to x, I do not know, but there was a constant then. We calculated the constant before, we calculated the constant because we had what is representing this derivative. This time we do not have anything given about dm dt. If we're given that information and another information about what we are given on this other side, if you have to check here, there's t, if you're given t and this dm dt, we can substitute that and find K. But in this case, it's impossible. This information, we are given direct values of T and M. These are values that are obtained after integrating. So it means they are trying to say integrate whatever that you are given in terms of the constant K. You must do those integrals with the constant K. All right. So in this case, we are going to separate in terms of that K that we are given. So by separation, guys, that is just going to multiply, cross multiply, but there, there's already, okay, no problem. Let's just cross multiply, guys, so that I do not confuse you. That is T plus 3 is equal to K DT. So to have the DT this side, we are going to divide by that T plus 3, all right? Then to have the constant this side, we divide by the constant. So you divide by the constant, we have the constant. To have the D, I mean, to have the T this side, we divide by T plus three. 
we divide by t plus of which we could have just remained it with it that side okay so there's no problem there uh this is equal to cancels that is dt over t plus three remember i said when you are to integrate the part of dt you have to check it's gonna be a lean and that lean must affect so it must let, let it be one over it's good so that it does not affect our calculations thereafter so we need to integrate with respect to m this is one over k a constant just a normal constant just the just a normal constant so it's like when you're integrating it's one over k like this like one over k the integral of dm like this the integral of one with respect to m so it will be one over k times m remember if you're integrating one with respect to m that will be m with respect to x that will be x with respect to y that will be y so meaning to say it will be one over k times m which is k over m or one over k times m the way that you want so you're going to integrate which can be integrated because you're focusing on m so that's simply one over k times m is equal to with respect to t remember that's a fraction one over this is going to be one over the coefficient of t that is one over one so that's simply one so that's lin t plus three plus the constant of integration but like i said if there was a lean this side, you're going to take that part, let C be equal to the lean of A. But if the part of T here, just like the part where we had Y and X, remember we related Y and there was a part of X carrying a lean. And I said, instead of you writing this constant as a C, you take it direct as lean C. In fact, the calculate you take direct as lean C. So this will be plus take direct it as a lean C. This will help you in the calculation. As we can see, the part of lean and the part of lean is on its own. So we can combine this part that we are given. Or we can make M to be the subject from there. Uh, or we can combine whatever that you want. It's up to you. We can just even make M the subject. Let's just remove this by multiplying by K. By multiplying by K. By multiplying by k here so this will be m is equal to k the lean of t plus three plus k the lean of c which is the whole part here representing a constant so like i said you can even leave it this way uh because we've got m as the subject already m is the subject here so no further calculations but this is not what we are given because we need we have or we need to calculate the question here was to solve this given this part when once you are given that t is equal to this we are supposed to find the particular solution from the general solution that we have determine what will be the value of the constant so what will be the value of the constants so let's substitute when the first condition T is equal to zero when M is lean of nine. So M is lean of nine when T is equal to zero and this T is a zero. So M is the lean of nine. So that's lean, that's zero plus three, which is lean three. So we are going to have K times lean three or lean three times K, all right? Plus K lean C, okay? Let's move on to another condition. So here we have formed an equation from that statement alone. Another part, we are given that T is 24 when M is 3 lean 9. This time M is equal to 3 lean 9. So 3 lean 9 is equal to T, which is given as uh, 24. So that will be 24 plus 3, which is 27. So that's K times lean 27 plus k the lean of c we can solve this equation uh by subtract we can even subtract simplify so that uh, because these are two equations so if you do not want to have a confusion we can see that equation two is bigger than equation one so instead we can subtract it this way equation two subtracting equation one 
Yes, we want to get rid of this K Lin C, which is the same, but to avoid working both. Guys, we can even work with equation one minus equation two. You introduce your negatives. So, okay, let's just do this. End up confusing you. Because some of us, we need those basic ways that we are used to anyways. So that's one minus three, which is minus two, the lean of nine. These are like terms, lean nine and lean nine. So it's just going to be minus two lean nine. We can subtract that. So there we've got the K and the K, meaning to say we are going to subtract. That is K lean this. So you're going to have K, a lean of three minus K, the lean of 27. K lean C and K lean C, remember that's the purpose of us to eliminate this. It's the same. So by subtracting, you have eliminated that. So we can find the value of K, but in this case, we can see that this here is going to be easier if the 27 is written in terms of what? In terms of three. If you write the 27 in terms of three, or you can factor out the K in that case, it's up to you. The way that you want to simplify, you can also avoid having this bigger value like having a fraction. So you can avoid having a fraction uh, like um, having K lin 27. This will be minus K lin 3 is equal to, you take this to the other side, it becomes a positive. That's 2 lin 9. So when I'm saying to avoid having a fraction is when you divide, because you're going to factor out the K, you remain with the lin and the lin. And we know that if you're subtracting the lin, it's going to be lin 27 minus lin 3, you divide. So that's 27 over 3. If you had remained this side, it, yes, it's going to be fine. You fact out, you remain with lin 3 minus lin 27, which means you're going to divide 3 over 27. That's a fraction. You can also avoid that. Because 27 over 3 is giving us uh, a whole number, which is 9. Not a fraction of 1 over 9. So you can also avoid that. I'm not saying it's wrong for you to write as 3 over 9. You can even write it like that. It's up to you. So meaning to say this after dividing, it is going to be the lean of uh, 3. Okay. okay, guys, the lean of 9, sorry, from this, because this is 27 over 3, which is going to be, which is going to be the lean of 9. So this is equal to 2 lean 9. So as you can see, the lean and the lean are the same. This one and this one, they can divide. So K is equal to what? To 2. All right. So meaning to say we... We have got uh, the constant K. We are left with the part of the C. So in this case, we saw that they are actually the same. So by taking this K into one of the equation, just substitute in this case, I'm going to choose equation one. So it means the lean of nine, if we substitute in uh, equation one, remember it was the lean of nine. So it means the lean of nine is equal to K lin 3, so that is 2, lin 3 is equal to, sorry, that is a plus here, so that's plus k, which is 2, so this is 2, the lin of c. So if you consider that, if you raise this to be the power to remove this 2, that will give us the lin of 9. The lin of 9 is equal to the lin of 9. Remember, the number multiplying a log will be raised to be an exponent. So plus 2 lean C. So by transposing the lean of 9 this side, it's going to be the lean of 9 minus the lean of 9, which is a 0. So there's nothing that you're going to have here. That's a 0. So 0 is equal to 2 lean C. So in this case, how can we calculate C? Divide by this 2, divide by this 2. If you want to work with the lean C, this part of the constant here, the, this part here, K lin C, this one, it is a zero there, which is this one. If you want, both that is the two lin C. Remember, K here is like this. This whole part represents a zero. So it means this part here of K lin C. When you want to substitute there, K lin of C is equal to, which is true. But also, you can determine the value of C if you want. But determining the value of C, what is it going to help? Or what am I going to... But there's nothing there. Because that, that's a zero. They're all constant. So even if you want there, 
uh, that will be uh, two. There you divide zero is equal to the lean of C. So remember to find C is gonna be E to the exponent of, so C is equal to E to the exponent of zero, which is one. So C is equal to one. Even if you are to take it back here, guys, and substitute lean C, which is lean one. What is lean one? Lean one is equal to zero. So there is nothing that you end up with. That is the whole part here that you have. So it's either you're gonna find your C or you just uh, finalize from this statement that this is our K lean C that we want. So that's a zero because we want the constant there. So therefore we can substitute because we've got everything. Remember we want M uh, in terms of T. So therefore our equation at the end from that part, remember M was equal to uh, K, the lean of T plus three. Sorry, let me just remove that. Therefore here before that, we had this equation plus K lean C. Now we calculated our K, we got a two. So therefore our M will be equal to two. The lean of T plus three, that is in terms of what? In terms of T. And this whole part of K lean C represents a zero. Or like I said, even if you calculate your C, you substitute your C here, which is one. The lean of one is equal to zero. So therefore this whole part will give us a zero. If we add a zero there, there's nothing that you have. So meaning to say that was going to be M in terms of T. We have made M the subject from that. That is to find a particular solution from the general solution that we had before by finding the constants. That's it. All right. Then another part, as we can see, guys, there's a lot of things here to consider. I'm just going to remove some of these other things so that we do not consider that much guys remember our equation that we just got now it is m is equal to 2 lean of t plus 3 okay so definitely they want you to continue from there so that is item 2 you are now asked to find on item 3 sorry 1 so this is item 3 number 1 the value of M when T is equal to 100, so it's just a substitution, M is equal to two, the lean of our T, that is 100 years plus three. So that means we've got the lean of 103, so you use a calculator there, which was going to be 7,269, something like that. Okay, so that's our mass. And remember, we are told about this mass, that this mass, M is in kilograms, in kgs. So meaning to say this as in kgs. We've got M is 9.269 kilograms. Then on item two, the time taken for the plant to increase by 10 kilograms. Still it's a continuation. The time, which is T, the one that you want, when the mass is 10. That's what you're given. All right? So item oh, number two, just a continuation there. We are given the mass this time in kgs. So 10 is equal to two, the lean of T plus three. So you can calculate our T. And remember, this is time, which is taken in years, in years. All right, so what is what will be our time in years? So you can reduce this by two. Remember there we are multiplying and two has no effect to the lean. So you can just remove this by dividing. Uh, that's a five. So meaning to say the lean of T plus three is equal to two into 10, which is five. Remember I said about this lean, it represents a log. We simply like this, log T best three in the best of E. It's a log which is written in the best of E. So by removing the log, we know that this will be raised, like you're going to have it equal to E raised to the exponent of 5. So that means whenever you want to remove a lean, whenever you want to remove that lean, you are going to have it as E to the exponent of the answer, E to the exponent of what? Of 5. So they want to calculate T, you can transpose the 3 to the other side, becomes a negative, so it's e to the exponent of five minus three. So that is 
whatever that you're going to obtain here, you subtract a three from there. That is going to be our time in years. So that was 145,413, something like that, which is simply 145,4. And this is measured or taken to be in years. The time that we are given there is in years. So these are the typical questions. Let me know, guys, on the comment section, which area that you can work on or where we still have challenges on these differential quest, uh, equations, like typical exam questions. Let's work on them together on Maison African Motives till we meet again.